The spring brake acts as an emergency and parking brake in addition to performing the service brake function on the rear axle. The operation of the parking and emergency brake function are discussed in another part of this series. For our purposes here, let's consider the spring brake as being the same as a standard brake chamber. The components in the service side of the spring brake look the same as those in a standard brake chamber. And they serve the same function during a service brake application. Threaded on the end of the push rod is a yoke assembly for attaching the slack adjuster. The slack adjuster is the final link between the air system and the cam brake in the wheel. It multiplies and transforms the linear force developed by the brake chamber into a rotational force or torque used to apply the foundation brake. Slack adjusters have designations indicating the torque they are expected to tolerate. A Type 20, for example, can withstand 20,000 inch-pounds of torque. The slack adjuster also provides a means for adjusting for brake lining wear. Manual slack adjusters are currently the most popular, but they require periodic manual brake adjustment. So automatic slack adjusters, like this Bendix ASA-5 Sure Stroke, are available as standard on some vehicles, as an option on most. The automatic adjustment provided by the ASA-5 yields consistent brake lining to drum clearance and brake actuator stroke. Brake performance is improved, maintenance reduced. When the brakes are applied, the brake actuator's push rod causes the slack adjuster to rotate the brake camshaft, which begins to force the brake shoes into contact with the drum. As the slack adjuster rotates, the yoke assembly pivots on the yoke pin, causing the adjusting link to be pulled upward. The travel of the adjusting link actuates the internal adjusting mechanism. This adjusts the brakes before the shoes contact the drum. All adjustment ceases when the shoes contact the drum. That's important. The ASA-5 senses or adjusts to a running shoe-to-drum clearance, not a brake chamber stroke. Over and under adjustments are therefore less likely. When the brake application is released, the actuator push rod returns to the released position. The camshaft rotates in the opposite direction to its new adjusted position and the brakes are released. Here's another service tip. Lubricate the ASA-5 every three months or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first, and check proper operation every time you lube it. Make a service brake application and note the length of the brake actuator push rod stroke. If too long, there could be a problem with the ASA-5 or the foundation brake itself. 